In this video, I'm going to go over the polar form of a complex number. And then we're going to convert this con uh, complex number into its polar form. And then we're going to write the polar form of this complex number. Okay, so let's start with the basic formula, uh, like what it looks like, the, com uh, the polar form of a complex number. So let's say we got a complex number z is equal to a plus iota b. So a is a real part of a complex number and b is a imaginary part. So I'm going to represent this complex number over here in this argon diagram. So this side x which is the real z. And this is y. So this is imaginary z. And the complex number is here represented by point P with A and B as the coordinates. So this length, uh, this is let's say origin O, 0, 0 is the origin. This point here is R. So this length OR is basically equal to A, the real part of a complex number. And length PR is B, which is the imaginary part of the complex number and this is the angle theta which is the angle between uh, op and the positive axis x and this is also called the argument of a complex number and this op this op vector is called the modulus of a complex number written like this and this is also written as vector r. So we're going to write the equation for the polar form of a complex number. So let's go over that. So in triangle POR, so triangle POR, so this is 90 degree over here. Okay. So sine theta is equal to PR over op pr over op so pr is b and op is modulus z okay so if we rearrange them so b is basically equal to modulus z sine theta and how about cosine theta from triangle pr so that is going to be OR over OP, adjacent over hypotenuse. <coughs> OR over OP. And OR is equal to A. And OP is again modulus of Z. So this gives me A is equal to modulus Z cosine theta. Okay. Now, we're going to plug in this A and B in this equation of complex number. So, let me rewrite it. So, Z is equal to A plus iota B. Therefore, Z is equal to A is basically Z cosine theta modulus Z cosine theta plus B is Okay, iota B is modulus Z sine theta and so Z is equal to, we can take the modulus Z as a common factor out. So inside we left with the cosine theta plus iota sine theta and this modulus Z is also, you can write it as a vector R. So the complex number Z is equal to R cosine theta plus iota sine theta. So this is called the polar form of a complex number. Z is equal to R cosine theta plus iota sine theta, where R is equal to the modulus Z which is this vector OP and T 
theta is called the argument of the complex number z okay so this over here is a polar form of complex number so they will give you a <clears throat> complex number in standard form and they will ask you to write this complex number in its polar form so let's do those two examples so first example we got one minus iota so we're gonna convert this complex number into the polar form of a complex number so let me write down the polar form so z is equal to r cosine theta plus iota sine theta okay so if we compare these two complex number let me write it down here open it up r cosine theta plus r sine theta iota here okay if we compare these two what you will see the real part is one and here real part is r cosine theta so that means r cosine theta is equal to one so that that's what you're gonna do you're gonna compare them and write them and that's how we're gonna find the value of r the vector r or the modulus of a complex number and then we're gonna find the value of this angle theta and we're gonna plug in those values into this polar form and we'll get the polar form of this complex number okay so r cosine theta is equal to one and r sine theta is equal to so this part is imaginary part so here which is equal to negative one so this is basically negative one iota so which is equal to negative one okay so if i square and add these equations what i will get i'll get r square cos square theta plus r square sine square theta is equal to one square plus negative one square okay so this gives me uh, r square is a common factor so i'm going to take this out inside i'll have to the cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one plus one is two and from trigonometric identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one so that means r square times one so this part is basically equal to one is equal to two and if we square root on both sides this gives me therefore uh, we got r is equal to square root of two and that's what we're going to plug in this equation but before that we need to find the argument theta so what we can do if i divide let's say this is equation one and this is equation two if i divide equation two by equation one that gives me r sine theta over r cosine theta which is equal to so r sine theta was negative one so negative one over one and this r will cancel out this r and sine theta over cosine theta is tangent theta is equal to negative one and that's only possible when angle theta is equal to negative pi over four or you can find theta is equal to tangent inverse of a negative one which is negative pi over four okay so now we got r and we got theta we're gonna plug in those equation in this equation here and here and that gives me the complex number z is equal to r is square root of two in the parenthesis inside i got cosine theta is negative pi over 4 plus iota sine of negative pi over 4 
So this over here is a polar form of this complex number or you can write 1 minus aota is equal to this. All right, let's do one more example. <clears throat> so second example is 1 plus square root of 3 iota and we're going to write the polar form of this complex number. So let's start with that. Again, z is equal to r into cos theta plus iota sine theta. So basically we are comparing it with this r sine theta. So this gives me r cosine theta is equal to 1 and r sine theta is equal to square root of 3. So I'm just comparing the real and imaginary parts. Okay, so let's say this is z. And so 1 plus root 3i. So you can compare them. All right. So I'm going to square and add both of these equations. Let's say this is equation 1. This is equation 2. If I square equation 1, that give me r square cos square theta plus square of this term r square sine square theta is going to be equal to 1 square which is 1 and root 3 square which is just 3 gonna write it and then gonna write the next step so let's take r square as a common factor so inside we left with cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 plus square of square root 3 is basically 3 so the square root will cancel the square which is uh, okay and this is a trigonometric identity which is equal to 1 so that means r square is equal to 4 therefore we got r is equal to 2 or you can say plus or minus 2 if you want but this is a modulus value so we gonna use only the positive value okay, that's the modulus of a complex number which is this which is always positive that's why we're gonna use positive 2 and now we need to find angle theta so same thing as we did in a previous example we want to write tangent theta because that's from there we can find the argument of a complex number okay so divide equation 2 by equation 1 so that gives me r sine theta over r cosine theta is equal to root 3 over 1. So this r will cancel this r over here. So I'll left with sine theta over cosine theta is equal to root 3 or sine theta over cosine theta is tangent theta is equal to root 3. You can find theta is equal to tan inverse of root 3 which gives me theta is equal to pi over 3. You can also find this angle theta from these equations here too. How? Because now we know r is 2 here. That means 2 cosine theta is equal to 1 or cosine theta is equal to 1 over 2 and that is only possible when theta is equal to pi over 3. Okay, so we got r and we got theta. Now we're going to plug in those equations in our this equation. So that means 1 plus root 3i is equal to r is 2 cosine pi over 3 plus iota then we got again 2 sine pi over 3 and we can take out 2 as a common factor so that gives me cosine pi over 3 plus iota 
sine of pi over 3 1 plus square root 3 iota so this is the polar form of this complex number so these are very easy examples once you practice few problems you will be good to go so I always recommend practice more examples just treat them same they will give you these number in fractions so don't get scared just solve it you will be able to do it all right and that's it for today so my goal was to go over the polar form and do some example so please please solve more example that way you'll be more confident and thanks for watching the video guys and if you have not subscribed to the channel please do that and we'll see you later thank you have a good day bye bye